Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today I had a um, I had a concern on my in in the comments of one of my videos and I wanted to address that. Now, I did a video about uh, ex moving some cables up under the on the loft and a guy um, advised me that I should be careful because those cables could catch fire and set fire to the house and everything like that. And, and thank you for your concern and uh, your worries about my well-being. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, and I wanted to address that, uh, which building materials are actually flammable. And let's go up under the roof and see what, what this is all about. Yeah, these are the cables in, tr in, in question. And the danger was if they would uh, if they would catch fire to the insulation here. Yeah. And rather or not, if this is safe, or if if the insulation here will, uh, if there is like sparks or heat from the from a bad connection or something like that. If I, if the entire house could burn down because it, it's uh, yeah, right in the middle of all this nice soft insulation. So let's leave it up that nice. I have this yellow insulation there, and that's glass wool. I have some over here. And that is stone wool. And I have some leftovers over here, and I think we'll we'll take a couple of pieces of leftover. This is also glass wool. This is stone wool. This is the hot, the hot one. So I'm gonna take a, a couple of those. And what do you know? That's a good old piece there. I'm gonna borrow that too. piece of this old thing here too. Ah, nah, not, not that big a piece. We'll take a good piece of that too and we will go and test that. Here are the four pieces of insulation I'm gonna try and see how flammable those are and now while we are at it I think this wood has been in the building for a hundred years and this is some of the new stuff that I'm putting up. So 100, oh, 102 years actually, and brand new. And I'm gonna test that and yeah, let's go downstairs. So I moved outside, um, have all the materials here that I'm gonna test. Uh, just on the way down I found this fiber uh, cement fiber thing that I've used in the living room and I found some styrofoam as well see how flammable that is and I've prepared over here two big tiles that I'm gonna place it on so that I don't ruin anything in my beautiful garden To fire it up, I have some fire starters. These are blocks that I use to, to turn on my stove.
They smoke a lot. The styrofoam is not doing very well. It's absolutely melting. The, this is the glass wool. It's, oh, it's, this is smoking a lot. I think it's the styrofoam that is smoking. The styrofoam is gone now, but the the insulation is really not doing that bad. It's not like it's catched on fire or anything. The little burning thing is just burning there. You can I can see a little bit of red around here. Styrofoam is really it's it's burning from the styrofoam. The melted styrofoam has become like na napalm. And it's like burning. Looks like there is some melting around this one. But the insulation has melted away. We can probably see that when when the fire goes up. Now all of them has gone out. Let's let's start with the styrofoam. It's it's totally melted. It's like plastic. And I know this. It's it is like burning napalm when when that turns on fire. Then there's the old wood, and that hell is that would have burned. But actually, this burning on top of it didn't even set it on fire. So, yeah, but that's a fire hazard. If 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 that piece of wood had caught fire, it would have burned really well. Then there's this uh, fiber thing. It's it's like the new modern dry drywall thing, and it consists of well, it's kind of a drywall with paper pieces inside of it. Um, it's very hard, and it's not very flammable. I have put one of these in my stove at one time just to test it out, and it was there for a couple of hours in, in the heat. And the only thing that happened to it was that uh, it crumble, crumbled away. It, it wasn't. It couldn't hold up its strength. This piece didn't catch on fire either. But this material burns really well when it does. When it do catch fire. So back to the insulating materials. This is still good. Let's get rid of that. It's still insulating material. Same thing over here. It's a little more soft than than other places. This is softer than out here, but otherwise it's still good. This old piece of insulation, kind of the same thing, it's still good, didn't catch on fire. And then there's this piece of insulation, didn't catch on fire either, it looks like it's that uh, the threads has just melted away a little bit where the most heat was. 
but it's it's not it hasn't gone anywhere but really maybe we just didn't use enough heat so let's try this see if we can set fire to something and it looks really can you see it it's melting And it glows red for a little bit, and then it's gone. Let's see this one. Same thing. It's it's melting. Uh, it's not really. Not really. Yeah, this is melting really a lot. Should be enough to try a piece of wood here. And that has caught on fire now. One will catch fire as well. There, it's burning. It's very cool outside, so it's not not really able to keep the fire going. This should not catch fire. It should be very fire resistant. That will, of course, catch on fire as wood does. The insulation will really not burn. It will melt away where there is most heat, but it's not gonna burn. So this concludes this little fire drill. Um, no fire has it uh, from most of the materials. The wood is of course flammable and the styrofoam is very flammable. And that's why whenever you use styrofoam in a building you have to protect it with something else. Here we use, we use this material to protect the styrofoam from, from burning. These have some numbers of how flame resistant, resistant they are and to, uh, to replace a piece of this you need two pieces of drywall at the same thickness. But this one is as fire resistant as two pieces of drywall. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Have a really nice day. Bye.